We are demonstrating here today an unprecedented event with five different console manufacturers working with seven different RF manufacturers. It's made possible because of the maturity of the P25 wireline standards. So we're going to demonstrate for you today the console subsystem interface for interoperating with uh, trunk console systems and also the fixed station interface uh, for interfacing with conventional uh, console systems. This particular session is going to focus on the fixed station interface for conventional systems. You can see here so, uh, this unprecedented kind of uh, work of cooperation that's going on here because of the maturity of the P25 standards. Among us, 12 different manufacturers in this 20 by 20 booth were demonstrating 19 different configurations. The one we're going to demonstrate at this session is this one here. So we're going to start out with Navtech talking to Tate, Citron with Samoco, Catalyst with Kodan, Logicom with Tate. So this is all made possible because of the willingness of us manufacturers to adopt the open standards and to work with one another. It's one thing to have the standards, but then you also need to make sure the standards work between us by testing. So we all have cooperated to do that. This also demonstrates there's quite a capability that we have with these interfaces. So our willingness to do it is important. And we're going to demonstrate this to show you that these things are mature now. And I think one of the take home messages out of all of this is you have options. Because of its open standards, you can now mix and match the best in class, or whatever meets your needs best, between RF subsystems and consoles. Or you can have a mixture of those things all in your system. So to give you a little background on the console subsystem interface, even though we're not going to demonstrate that at this show, I'll give you a little background on it. It's based on the inner subsystem interface, which is used to tie together RF subsystems. The difference is the CSSI is designed to tie together RF subsystems with R, excuse me, RF subsystems with console subsystems or multiple console subsystems. And so it takes the core capabilities of the ISSI and adds a few things that are necessary for consoles. For example, the ability for one console to hear another when they're transmitting. And this is for trunked uh, uh, P25 systems. What we're going to demonstrate here is the fixed station interface, which is used for conventional uh, E25 systems. So that's communicating from an RF subsystems made up of fixed stations, base stations or repeaters, and going to consoles. So here's what we're going to demonstrate. Here's the functionality that we're going to demonstrate. We're going to show analog calls and console. This is uh, analog on the on the air, although it's still digital on the IP circuit. Then this is going to be a digital over the air call, uh, group call uh, from console to radio, the radio to console, and an emergency call. Then the ability to go beyond uh, what's happening on the air and actually control the fixed station by changing channels.